We will now start the orientation to those who will be staying at the temporary accommodation for recovery. In this video, we will explain the five points shown on the screen. For more information on these points explained in this video, please refer to the guide to your stay at a temporary accommodation provided in your room. Please watch this video while reviewing these materials. Observation of health condition. First, we will explain temperature and oxygen saturation measurements. Please refer to the table of contents and open up the follow-up health check sheet for COVID-19 patients with mild to no symptoms page. When you enter the room, first take your temperature and measure your oxygen saturation. Please use a thermometer and pulse oximeter included in the patient's kit given to you at the entrance. At the time of the relevant announcement every morning and evening, measure your body temperature and oxygen saturation and write the numbers on the follow-up health check sheet. If you notice any changes in your respiratory symptoms, fill in the shortness of breath column. Nurses will check the numbers on the health check sheet every day. If you have any concerns, please take your temperature and measure your oxygen saturation by yourself. Next, we will explain symptoms requiring the most urgent medical care. Please go back to the table of contents and open up the page for patients staying at the temporary accommodation for recovery points to know when recovering from COVID-19. If you have a fever of 37.5 degrees Celsius or higher, if your oxygen saturation is 94% or less, or if you have any of the listed symptoms such as pale complexion or shortness of breath, please contact the staff office immediately. Nurses are on call 24 hours a day, so please do not hesitate to contact us even during the night. For the extension number of the staff office, please see the envelope provided when you are admitted to the accommodation. We will now explain medication management. Please manage your medications by yourself. Call the staff office before taking a fever reducer or cough suppressant. In addition, please take your temperature before taking a fever reducer. Next, we will explain how to measure your oxygen saturation. Please go back to the table of contents and open the pulse oximeter measurement method page. Oxygen saturation indicates how much oxygen is contained in the blood. The figure in the upper row shows oxygen saturation and the normal level is 95% or higher. Let's try to measure it. Pinch the clip and insert your fingertip all the way into the device. Then turn it on. Once the measurement starts, take four to five deep breaths. Then the value on the display becomes stable. Fill in the obtained data on the health check sheet. Living in the accommodation. Do not use the door chain so that the staff can enter the room in case of an emergency. You are allowed to move around on the same floor, but prohibited to go to other floors. If you leave your room without the key, you will be locked out because it has an automatic lock system. Please always have your key with you. If you are locked out, contact the staff office via an extension phone, which are placed on each floor. The staff will then come unlock your door. We will provide you with three meals a day. When a meal is ready, we will make an announcement. Please come to pick it up at the table in front of the elevator. Take the drinks with you too. Since we will prepare only enough boxed meals for the number of people in the accommodation, please take only one per person. For the drinks, you can take multiple bottles with you. Dispose of your trash, including your used meal boxes in a trash can in the corridor. Please take home with you any cans or bottles that you brought in yourself. 
or were received as gifts. There are no time restrictions on taking baths. However, be mindful of the time because noises easily echo in the accommodation. If you leave the door of the bathroom open while taking a bath, the fire alarm could be activated, so please make sure to close the door. You are not permitted to have visitors, but you can receive gifts. Please check out the hours when gifts can be accepted because they vary at each accommodation. Gifts that we receive for you will be delivered at lunch or dinner. Please note that we do not accept raw food because the staff office can only store gifts only at room temperature. Puddings and cakes that need to be stored in the refrigerator are also classified as raw food. Using a restaurant delivery service is prohibited because we cannot bring you the delivered items immediately. Wi-Fi is available in the accommodation. The password is shown on the TV screen or posted in the room. Next, we will explain how to make your bed. There are pillowcases, quilt covers, and mattress covers on the beds. The mattress are movable, so please lay a sheet by yourself before using the bed. Mental health. Please go to the table of contents and open the mental health care page. Staying in a confined place for a long period of time may cause intense psychological stress. Stress responses, such as the ones listed here, can be alleviated by talking to someone about them. In the accommodation, we regularly monitor your mental condition with a mental health screening checklist. This check should be conducted on the evening two days before the designated mental health consultation day. If you obtain a total score of 9 or higher, you may be under intense psychological stress. In this case, you can receive counseling from a mental health physician. If you wish to receive counseling, please contact the nurse. Moderate exercise. Please go to the table of contents and open the weekly exercise schedule page. In the recovery period, you will have few opportunities to get exercise. By exercising moderately, you can relax your body and mind. In addition to regular broadcast exercise programs in accommodation, you can find TV or video program information in the material on introduction to exercise. So let's get some exercise. Finally, we will provide information on leaving the accommodation. The discharge date is determined according to the national standards examining your daily health condition and the date of onset. The discharge date which we can notify you in advance, is just a provisional date. However, if you wish to know what it is, please contact our staff. This ends the orientation. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the office staff at any time.